In this video, we will be looking at Jagmeat, and it's way worse than I thought. My apologies, we have to interrupt the video because we have breaking news. He's just, he's actually pretending to be a politician. So <laughs> and I'm not just saying that for you to watch the video, but what I'm gonna show you guys in this video, I'm sure you didn't even know. But what I discovered that you will see in this video is wild. First off, we're gonna look into Bernie Sanders who endorsed him, AOC. Uh, Rihanna, his, the value of his watch, the real value of his watches, when did he get them? We're going to look at Jack Mead at his own rallies with full of cardboard people. This guy was supporting the farmers in India, the truckers in India. He was supporting them. Did you know that 60% of truckers in Canada are Sikhs? Do you know, viewer, do you know that almost 60% of the truck drivers in Canada are Sikhs? What hypocrisy is this guy doing? People wearing turbans like Jagmeet from the same religion, 60% of these people are Sikhs. He supported Justin Trudeau's Emergencies Act to attack and remove people of his own religion. Did you see that Jagmeet actually complained about people comparing him to Marge Simpson? Assez de toutes les références aux Simpsons. No, no, pas à peu, Marge Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> he made a joke about it. It was actually true. And I found out that um, his name is pronounced Jug Meat. I think it's very fitting for a guy that looks like Marge Simpson. Uh, that his name is pronounced Jug because he's a Jughead. My name is Jugmeet Singh. For the record, that's Jug like hug. The very first day I saw him on TV, he got a watch which he indicated himself that they were both gifts. But he already had one when he started uh, his uh, first campaign. When he came in, he already had, I think it was in 2018, he already had a Rolex. CP who loves to do like some half-ass reporting sometimes, well, the reporters, they were saying that Jagmeet's submariner watch was only worth between $6,000 and $50,000. There are some mariner watches that are worth over $400,000. And I found the one of Jagmeet, which you can see him when he was doing one of his posters for a company, I don't remember what, but he has a gold one with the date. Because when you have the date on Rolex, it changes the value to drastically. And his bracelet is in gold. The only one I found that looked exactly like Jagmeet, out of all the ones I looked at, is over $120,000. Between $115,000 and $122,000 minimum. So his watch is worth the same price as a house. Do you know who Bernie Sanders is? The Democrats actually pushed him out of the election in 2016 and preferred Hillary Clinton to him. Imagine that. Because he was too far left and too progressive. And now look, look how the party is now today. Biden was super far left and super progressive too. When influencing the leftward shift in the Democrat party after his 2016 election campaign and advocates progressive policies, he is known for his opposition to neoliberalism and support workers' self-management. Why would someone who opposes neoliberalism endorse a neoliberal? Because he's not a neoliberal. Simple. So he's pretending to be a neo-democrat. Neo-democrats and neoliberalism is the same damn thing. He was a gaming online with AOC, another far-left lunatic, she always advocates for like the most far left progressive policies you can see. Weird stuff. There's only six people like that in the whole Democrat party. And she's one of them with Bernie Sanders. Now, why are American politicians endorsing Jagmeet Singh in Canada? First of all, mind your own business. Second of all, that's not normal. That's because they have the same values and the same policies. So Rihanna, sent a DM. Why would Rihanna 
sent a DM to Jagmeet Singh in Canada to actually like make it look like she supports him for him to get more votes. That's just ridiculous that he's getting gifts and promotions from American politicians while he's in Canada. That means that he's going to advocate for policies that will help Americans and not Canadians. And he's a freaking traitor. Even worse than I thought. He's a traitor beyond traitors. Have you ever noticed how Jack Matt mutes the audio in his rallies and then pretends that the crowd was going wild? Did you ever notice that? Jack Matt, he comes into a rally. Then he thanks the crowd for all the support and saying that the energy is wild, like exaggerations totally. And every time he comes in a rally, the audio is muted. Seymour, our leader, the next prime minister of Canada, Jagmeet Singh. Thank you so much. Wow. The energy is intense. The excitement is huge. Thank you so much for all the love. signing with the rich and powerful elites yeah. the stage the next prime minister the first racialized prime minister of Canada Jack Mead Singh like his crew is so so trash his editors are so trash they can't even add a fake crowd cheering to his videos for sure, there's going to be some people actually cheering for real. You just put that audio a little bit more up and like not that much to make it look like there's a lot of people in the rallies. They boosted the audio just before Jagmet came out. They boosted the audio to the point it broke my ears when I was watching the video. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? They boosted the audio to make it look like there was a massive crowd there. There was like 100 people. And then when he comes in, in most of his videos, they mute the audio so that you can't hear that there's barely any people and that there's barely any people there. So that's another thing. He's a phony. My apologies. We have to interrupt the video because we have breaking news. So that's another thing. He's a phony. <laughs> so I told you this video was going to be interesting. This guy is an actual traitor, man. To, he's not only a traitor to Canadians, he's a traitor to his own religion. He's a traitor to all the Sikhs in Canada that actually voted and donated money to this guy, man. You know what they did with the Emergencies Act. 